All right, here it is, the Bungie Final Shape Developer Livestream reveal. Let's see what they got in store for us. Exciting. Turn the volume up. Hey everyone, this is Luke from the Destiny team. The Final Shape is the culmination of a 10 year journey. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome, took you to the moon, Venus, Mars, the reef and beyond. It's a journey that'll end inside the Traveler with you facing the Witness. But facing the Witness is not the end of Destiny 2, and it's definitely not the end of Destiny. After you face the Witness, very good. we're going to tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2. And yes! Beyond. We'll see you soon. I'm rock hard. The Final Shape has been an amazing project to work on. The amount of creativity, the amount of design work, the amount of all these elements coming together has been inspirational. I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? It looks awesome. I think that we're gonna have a pretty big impact and it's gonna shake things up a lot. And we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're working on. All right. Whoa, the UI looks insane over there. Why? There's like two bars there. It's like a pink bar and a super bar. Oh, uh, the subjugators. Oh, shit. Oh. That machine gun. He's not getting shot very much by it. He's in the tower. He's in the D1 tower. I just realized there's no, the vaults are gone. All right, that's insane. The D1 tower. We are going into the pale heart of the Traveler, and the Traveler has chosen you, the Guardian, to be its champion. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists early on created this very evocative image of a Guardian with light armor and dark armor. We're like, we really need this in the final shape. This is the ultimate form of being a Guardian, to wield light and darkness at the same time. We built Prismatic exactly to be that. Prismatic is the new subclass in the final shape where you can combine oh, certain new class subclass. abilities yeah. from different damage types together. Getting Whoa. light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Like the witness is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness okay. is not a master of light and dark. You are. This the is sick. As players are. So there is a new subclass. In Prismatic, underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling Transcendence. I love what? Transcendence because you do these cool motions. For Warlocks, we have this cool, like, mystic pose. Hunters are going to do this cool, like... The Titan one where you just go... While you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The hunters like, get oh, this fire so and ice sick. combo. Titans, Strand, this and is so Park. sick. From the Warlock, Stasis, and Void together. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence, so you can loop them together, one after the other. Damn, that's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket Jeez. them than you normally get. That oh my god, that looks insane. 2000 300, no, I'm just kidding. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just the art director. <laughs> I think that Prismatic feels like you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do. It feels a little game breaking, I'm not gonna lie. A, a little, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, power creep, power creep level 10,000. He's got, oh my God. You're gonna be like, oh no, what have I done? I'm gonna be here all night.
That's gonna be ridiculously powerful. Oh my god. Alright, this is sick. Unstoppable there. It's not just That's awesome. about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multipliers at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're transcending kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people. And now you can finally combine those and make your own guardian feel very uniquely you. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble and blowing them up. And then we're like, oh, wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies you could throw out you know your shurikens and then you blow them up as well and it's like yeah. okay i didn't think i could ever do Whoa. those two things at the same time and Very you tell me i can do as much as i want you can throw a withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gamble is like fully charged right and so like certain interactions i think get a lot easier <laughs> just because we've sort of made the aspects a little bit a little bit more permissive a little bit a little bit looser So I think when we play test, I'm probably gonna be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges, and then you combine that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control, or you can throw a Devour. And the combinations, so you know, the builds are gonna be in, insane Lightning for this, yeah. That's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. That gives you infinite sustain effectively to stay in the fight. As a Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with like the cool blades of Strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. It's a very like fun, destructive build that you can just like destroy everything around you. And it, it, it's super fun. There was this moment for me where I was like, wait a minute, I could send out Threadlings and have a Bleak Watcher. It just creates oh, these moments of escalation within the combat. And I think that's really exciting for me. All right, Pete to the Crucible. Bleak Watcher <laughs> and Feed the Void. You consume your grenade to throw your Bleak Watcher out there. And so it's, you know, locking stuff down with More stasis, abilities. doing crowd control. You can clean that stuff up pretty easily with, you know, an arcane needle melee, which has three charges. Those ability kills will activate Devour, which gives you more grenade energy every time Devour activates, so it lets you loop your Bleak Watcher. And so you can have, like, multiple Bleak Watchers out in the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just, like, launching your cool strand melees out, and everything's dying, and it's great. <laughs> embracing the challenge of like, how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build? Like, how do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together? I'm excited about, you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking Shout forward to, to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it the up ATP with gets a huge to create shout out. like these these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me, uh, and I'm I'm really excited about that. Nice. I like that. I think the combinations for that would be really cool, really creative and fun. Like I said, the builds are just going to be nuts. See which combinations are going to be the most powerful. God, the amount of ability spam right now is just uh, absurd. Just all abilities. Yeah, not even shooting his gun. Literally not even shooting his gun. Jeez, that's gonna be, that's gonna be nuts. In the final shape, we're gonna be making these new exotic class items. Yeah, bringing it back. These new exotic class items allow you to steal perks from other exotics 
and combine two perks together into what? one single exotic. The perks that come on them are actually random rolled. One thing that is gonna be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work what? really well. This is gonna be insane. It said, it said Ophidian Aspects. Do you have Ophidians and? Are all about prismatic and making that feel good. So it's gonna be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They also look so good. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as special. They have these two perk columns that take aspects from other exotics. Nice. Exotic class items are gonna let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow down, blow up hunter build, a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite. And also I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We want it to feel a little broken. A little broken? It definitely this felt like gonna be, two this is actually cloak, gonna be nuts. It's kind of the intention. We want that to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. <laughs> it just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. They look amazing. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics, and even from classes that aren't you, adds this element of spice to them. And the fact that it's random rolls, you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds. Very cool. Wonder how you find them then. Like, what do you do to, to acquire the different ones? Probably different ones in different activities or something, maybe. He's got Behemoth, Thermite Grenade, and Arc. Look, he's got the Arc Dodge, Behemoth Super, and a Thermite Grenade. That's... I can't even I can't even think about Dread what that's gonna be like. new Witness Faction. Oh my god. When you see these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. And you've seen a member of the Dread before. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Well, that was just the first one. Interesting. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. Nice, so uh, basically like a this whole new like alien the species. of the Witness in these new enemies. Nice. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this bat with a gun. The gun oh, bat, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bat with a gun. It does a scream and it swoops all around oh the my battlefield. God. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. Oh. It also slows you down. Oh, no. It was something that immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. Oh, God. The Husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades, and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons, and they just come charging with those things and will just slice and dice. 
they are really dangerous, especially in groups. Oh wow! If you manage to kill the husk, get to be careful. Seems like a, seems kind of like the what's inside of the husk. The geist is gonna pop out and it's gonna seek you out. If you kill it the wrong way, a guy has killed me more than I care to admit. Now I'm like looking everywhere. Every time I go into a fight, and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> The Weaver and the Attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the Witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. The fact nice. that you can get suspended and frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic to the fight. The Weaver does something we've never done before. It'll shoot out this complete, powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back and like snaps and that like pulls you towards that character. Interesting. As one character doing that to you, yeah, you can handle it. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, you have to approach it in a different way. Yeah. We're really excited like about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. It just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this. It's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. There's gonna be a lot of broken stuff. We need to go. Keep moving, go! There's gonna be a lot of broken combinations. That was Zavala's face. Darkness into the broken. To turn their threat into Statue of Zavala. annihilation. Changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. He has ace too. Wow. All right. That was the launch trailer world premiere. I'm gonna make this screen big. As oh, we got more. Shape approaches. And the forces of the witness surge at the borders. This is launch trailer. Lord pretty. Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection back into circulation. Powerful gear for a powerful guardian. Good luck. Nice. Careful. Mount top. Weapons we once deemed heretical. We now see his desperate measures. I know you'll use this well. Fight that well. blast furnace. 
Pushing back buys us only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I Recluse, Fallen Gatian. Fallen Gatian against the Dregs? Nice. Not the Dregs. That's live today. I love to see it. Super black. Woo. There it is. That was the final shape. Developer gameplay preview. And they did the Into the Light event as well there. Pretty epic stuff. I am uh, my first initial thoughts of that is definitely it's exciting to see the combinations of those abilities. I think that you know, some people might be more interested in perhaps just an entirely new subclass altogether, but I think that the combinations of these abilities will actually be a lot of fun and, and open up the door to a ton of creativity. That paired with the exotic class items and the ability to take exotic traits and perks from other exotic armor and, and whatever else they had out there. It seemed like they were even hinting at like uh, things outside like invisibility and stuff. Stuff like that would be really crazy and really creative. The build combinations between the exotic class item and the ability to swap between light and darkness classes on your subclass sound like it's just going to be absolutely nuts for the creativity. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think that will be a lot of fun. The final ship and then the entire new alien race basically is just as the the tormentor came in. They're like the first of that race. And now they they basically have built on that and now they're going to have, you know, the flying bats with guns and and the scions and all the other aliens that we saw with that so i think that that kind of was what people are looking for largely is just the ability to have you know that alien race to fight against some i feel like they kind of met us at each point where people were kind of critiquing them to some degree not everyone will be super excited of course not everyone will be insanely happy by that reveal but i think that if you're a longtime destiny fan that's you know that's that's something definitely to be excited for and i think that that will definitely sell the final shape and i think that will get people really interested in actually grinding the final shape but let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments your opinions are all valid of course if you didn't like it that's totally okay but for me that was super super sick definitely looking forward to jumping in and playing the final shape after watching that make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed smash the like button i'll see you in the next one